What's going on, everybody? It's Bronco Juggalo, and it's time for another Top 20 of 2020. Of course, this is created by my boys, Joe, the Horror Man, and Horrific Nightmares JM, also known as Jason. You know, my Super Slash Brothers. So guys, today is Top 20 Creature Features. Uh, monster movies, whatever. Now, Jason and Joe asked, of course, normal rules, one per franchise, things like that. But also, they didn't want any vampires or werewolves. And I imposed a few more restrictions on mine. No aliens. And I kept everything kind of in the non-realistic realm. As in, no animal movies. No just straight up animals like Grizzly or Jaws. You know, none of those kind of films. No bait 3D, even though that would have made this list if I did. You know, all that kind of stuff. I decided to go with more of the fantastic creatures, uh, kaijus, uh, mythological, you know, uh, scientific man-made, all that kind of stuff. And, and coming in at number 20 is an old school kaiju film from Denmark called Reptilicus. Now this movie is notoriously bad. And just... Not just this movie, but with the rest of this list. Keep in mind, these are movies that I enjoy. This is my personal taste. I'm not saying these are the greatest movies of all time, but they're ones that I have fun with. And Reptilicus is just that. It's a movie I first saw on Mystery Science Theater 3000. And I've actually watched it a few times since, just by itself. I have a lot of fun with this movie. It's just fun. I like it. 19 is one from childhood that I still love, even though it's considered not a very great film. Uh, that is Deep Star 6. Gotta go with my Deep Star 6 on this, guys. I love it. And number 18 is one that does have a shark in it, but it's not a regular kind of shark. It is Ouija Shark from Wild Eye. Uh, I fell in love with this movie, and I've just had an absolute blast with it. You know, there's a few wild eyes on this list, and I had to pick and choose. But I decided to go with Ouija Shark on the list, because it was just fun. Coming in at number 17 is yet another wild eye film, and it is The Velocipaster. Absolutely hilarious, great film. Uh, I really did enjoy this one a lot. Coming in at number 16 is Splinter. Now, Splinter is a badass, awesome movie. And it is so much fun. It's so good. And if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. And at number 15 is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Now, yes, I'm showing this one because I happen to have it handy. I just saw it sitting here, so I grabbed it and a few others. Um, all of the movies on this list I own, with the exception of Reptilicus and Deep Star 6. Coming in at number 14 is Cabin in the Woods. And why am I not showing them all, you might ask? Because I didn't feel like pulling them all out. Uh, Kevin of the Woods is just a fun, awesome film that has so many different elements to it, and Creature Feature is one of them. Coming in at number 13 is yet another Wild Eye movie sitting right over there on that shelf, and that is Karis Hell. I got, yeah, I consider this a Creature Feature slasher. It, it really is. Uh, to me, it's a mythological creature that just happens to be a, you know, a, a carousel ride. It's a, it's a unicorn, though. It's just a plaster or whatever it's made out of, you know, unicorn. But it is alive, so, and it's not a human, it is a creature. So, for me, it makes this list. And it's an awesome movie. Coming in at number 12 is a Korean horror film, The Host. Awesome fucking movie. If you have not seen The Host, you definitely need to check it out. It's on this shelf somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's on there somewhere. I think it's on the very bottom because I keep all the ones that I've seen close to the bottom, except for, like, well, I, I, you'll never understand my system. Believe me, it's weird even to me. At number 11, we have the classic Gremlins 2. Gotta love me some Gremlins. And I love part two. Everything from Hulk Hogan showing up to the Gremlin having ultra brains and the spider Gremlin. Love them all. Well, guys, if Gremlins 2, which has always been a favorite of mine, sits right outside the top ten, you can bet my top 10 is going to be pretty fantastic. And starting with number 10, I have Pacific Rim. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the quote-unquote kaiju films. 
It's not a Godzilla film, but it's probably my absolute favorite of the kaiju films. Um, I don't know if people consider King Kong a kaiju or not. I don't know about all that. I know that kaiju just means giant monster, doesn't it? I don't fucking know, but whatever. So yeah, Pacific Rim was just so cool to me, and it was a really fun movie. Totally came out of left field for me. I thought it was going to suck. The reason I wondered about King Kong is my number nine film is Kong Skull Island. Uh, this is my favorite King Kong movie of all time. And I just think it's a badass fucking movie, period. And I'm a big John Goodman fan, so there you go. Coming in at number eight, we have the only Bigfoot movie on this list, and that is The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then the Bigfoot. This, guys, is, it even says Certified Fresh by Rotten Tomatoes. And I don't give a shit about Rotten Tomatoes, but this time they got it right. This is an amazing movie. It is just flat out good. It's, I mean, it's just fucking awesome. Such a good film right here. Coming in at number seven is another movie that's buried somewhere on this shelf, and that is The Mummy from Hammer. Really enjoyed this movie, guys, when I first watched it. My favorite movie in this franchise is The Mummy from the, uh, you know, the new Mummy, Brendan Fraser. Not the new, new Mummy with Tom Cruise. Brendan Fraser. That's my favorite one. I love that movie. But I wanted to show the old school movie some love, and I love The Mummy from Hammer. I like it more than the Universal Mummy, even though that movie is also fantastic, uh, which I'll be reviewing sooner or later. But The Mummy from Hammer is just so good. It even outstrips the Universal one. Coming in at number six is Humanoids from the Deep. Gotta thank Jason for getting me hooked on this movie. Uh, this movie just blew me away the first time I watched it. And I've owned it now for, what, five or six months? Maybe? And I've watched it four times. I love this movie. It's in at number five is a movie I'm actually going to be filming a review for very soon. And that is the 1931 Universal Monster movie, Frankenstein. Now, this is the only Universal Monster movie on this list. I love the Frankenstein movie. I know a lot of you like Bride of Frankenstein a little bit better. But myself, personally, I love the first one. I think it's the best of the Universal Monster films. At least I, right now, that's what I think. And it's just an amazing movie with amazing acting. To follow up regular Frankenstein, we got the movie that parodied it. Coming in at number four, we have my one of my favorite Mel Brooks films of all time and one of my favorite films of all time, period. Young Frankenstein from Mel Brooks. Absolutely love this movie. Such a funny film. If you've never seen it, you need to. You're doing yourself a disservice by not seeing this movie. As much as I love that, though, there are still three more movies higher up on this list for this particular genre. And coming in at number three, I'm going with another Korean film, Sector 7. I fucking love this movie, and I have been championing this movie for a few years now. I am all over this film, and I want everybody out there to see this movie. I still think they have some copies left. It is a Scream Factory, or Shout Factory, and you can get it on Hamilton Book for dirt fucking cheap. Blu-ray 3D combo pack. Fucking awesome. And you definitely need to check it out. Also, go check out my review of it, which I did for 2018 Thanksgiving. Around the Thanksgiving time. Uh, I still think that review is notoriously underrated and people need to go see it. Yes, I will promote myself in my own videos. Alright guys, coming in at number two is yet another mythological creature. And yes, I do consider this a creature feature. Yes, I also consider it a slasher. If you don't like it, deal with it. It is Leprechaun. Now, when I did my Leprechaun ranking not too long ago, I believe part three was at number one. Right now, I'm back to part one. It does alternate. One, two, three, and even Returns is in there. Uh, I almost put Returns on this list, but I still got to show that love to part one, and I'm back at part one being my current favorite, so... It's on the list right now. These things can change. If people say they can't, and they have to be all fucking stick up their ass, you know, about it, then fuck them. Well, guys, it's time to unveil my number one, my favorite creature feature movie of all time. I've said this before. You probably know what's coming up if you really pay attention to my videos, and that is Jurassic Motherfucking Park. 
the first one, the original one, greatest creature feature ever made, greatest dinosaur film ever made, uh, one of the greatest special effects movies ever made, and just an absolutely amazing film. I once again will get down and suck on some Steven Spielberg cock because I'm all over this fucking movie. No, I'm, I'm just fucking with you. I will not suck his cock. Not at all. No, thank you. All fun and jokes aside, that is my top 20 for 2020. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back and see us next time. This is Bronco Juggalo saying thank you for joining me. Go check out the merch store and go subscribe to the Patreon. Peace. Talking about mob shit. Go. Couple hundred grand, I ain't much. Mob shit. One phone call, you can get touched. Shit. Give me good time, you have to do the list. Mob shit. Good fellas always got a full clip. Mob shit. 